Okay, so this video is about uh, the sign of the second derivative and what it tells us about the original function. So I'm going to uh, do two parts. So the first one will be when the sign of the second derivative is positive and the other one when it's negative. So if the sign of the second derivative is positive, I want to know what does this mean for the original function. So my second derivative is positive. What does this mean? This means that the derivative of the derivative is positive. So this means that um, the slope of the tangent line to the function that I took the derivative of, so to the to f prime of x. So the slope of the tangent line to f prime of x is positive, right? So this means that uh, we can think of the slope of f prime as positive. So another way to think about this is that f prime of x is increasing. So f prime of x is getting bigger. Right, so that so the the second derivative positive means that f prime of x is getting bigger. Okay, so now I want to break into two parts again. So the first one is going to be when f prime of x is less than zero, and the second one is going to be when f prime of x is bigger than zero. I can have a function that's increasing and negative at the same time. We saw that on on the worksheet, um, and I can have a function that's increasing and positive at the same time. Uh, the sign of the function doesn't determine whether it's increasing or decreasing. So these two scenarios um, both could happen, right? Uh, so let's think about in either case, what does the shape of the original function look like? So now I'm going to graph uh, y equals f of x here. And I'm going to see what does it look like? So let's assume that I have uh, a point on, on the graph of my function. And um, in this, in this case, the derivative of the function is, is less than zero. So that means this function, f of x, is decreasing, right? So somehow I have uh, my function that's decreasing here. And now I want to see what's happening over here when I go to the right. OK, so the function was decreasing, but its derivative is increasing, right? So its derivative is negative, but increasing. So that means it's getting closer to zero. So if it's negative, but it's increasing, that means the derivative is getting closer to zero, right? So it, the derivative is going from some negative number, whatever the slope of this, this, uh, this line is, to something closer to zero. So that means it's going to get um, shallower, right? So if, say, this is like negative 5, then the slope, if it's like negative 2, it's going to look more like this, right? So the slope is going from something negative to something closer to zero. Right. So this means that kind of over here, this, the slope has to be shallower. So it maybe looks something like this. And so what's happening is my function is taking a shape sort of like, like this, where to the left, the derivative is, is negative and it's very negative. And then towards the right, the derivative is negative, but, uh, but it's getting closer to zero. So it's increasing. So let's do the same thing over here. You know, eventually, if the derivative keeps increasing, it'll become positive. Um, so let's think about what happens over here. So let's say I start here, and my derivative is positive. So it's something like this. And now, if the second derivative is positive, then uh, this means that the derivative is increasing. So this means the slope of the tangent line is increasing. So here, I'm positive. And I'm getting more positive. The slope is getting more positive. So that means the slope is getting steeper and steeper, right? So here, the slope looks like this, like this. And over here, the slope is going to be even more positive. So the slope is increasing. So the function is going to look something like this. Okay. So both of these sort of have the same shape in the sense that um, the slope is getting more positive, right? And, and this we call concave. Okay. When the second derivative is positive, we call it concave up. The way you can think about it is if I poured water into this shape, the water would stay there. It would, um, it would be held up by the function. Okay, so let's do the same thing when I reverse the sign here. So this is when the second derivative is positive, the graph can have this shape. Uh, let's do what happens when the second derivative is negative. So here, let's do f double prime of x is less than zero. And again, let's split into two cases, one where, um, where f prime of x is less than 0 and one where f prime of x is greater than 0. So f double prime of x less than 0, what does this mean? This implies that f prime of x is decreasing. 
decreasing. So it's the same logic as before. Um, the slope of the tangent line to f prime is negative, and that means the function f prime of x is decreasing. So here I have a function f prime that's negative and decreasing. And if I, if I say, what does this mean for y equals f of x, when I graph y equals f of x here, this means that, well, if f prime of x is negative, this means that the function itself is decreasing, right? And now if f double prime of x is negative, this means that the derivative is decreasing. So I'm starting with a negative derivative and it's, de it's decreasing even more. So it's getting more and more negative. So if the derivative is getting more and more negative, that means the slope of the original function is getting more and more negative. And so it's getting sort of steeper and steeper in the negative direction. So this function is gonna look something like this, okay? So here it starts as a negative slope. And then as I go to the right, it becomes an even more negative slope. So the, the slope is decreasing here. Uh, same thing, if I start with a positive slope, if I start with a positive slope, but the slope is decreasing, so if the slope is positive but decreasing, that means it's getting going from a positive number to something closer to zero for the slope. And so that means the function is getting flatter and flatter. If the derivative is getting closer to zero, going from a positive number to a positive number closer to zero, then this means the slope is getting flatter and flatter. So here, in this case, um, the derivative started positive and steep, and now um, it's, it's positive, but, but the function is not as steep, okay? And so the shape of a graph that has second derivative less than zero looks like one of these two, and we call this concave down. And how you can think of concave down is if I were to put water into one of these shapes, it would fall, it would fall down. It would, would not be held up by the graph. So concave up, sort of if, I, if I'm going to pour water into something that's concave up, the graph can hold up this water. And if I pour water into uh, a graph that's concave down, it's sort of, it's going to flow out because the shape looks like this. So this is how you can think of, um, of con concave up and concave down, or if the second derivative is positive versus if the second derivative is negative. Um, it, the, the sign of the second derivative really influences the shape of the graph to either look like one of these or to look like one of these.